Hey guys, Trevor here, and in this video, I'm gonna help you fix, if you're getting the error message, this Apple ID hasn't been used in the App Store before. Now, let's open up photos here. Um, this is probably the error message that you're getting. This Apple ID has not been used in the iTunes Store. Tap to review to sign in, and then review your account. Now, if you're getting this message, there are a few different reasons why, and there are a few different steps that we'll go through to fix this specific issue. Uh, most likely the reason is because Apple is just missing some information related to your account. They need you to sign the terms of service, they need your payment profile, or they just need you to kind of sign out and sign back in again, so refresh things. So the very first thing that we'll do is we'll hop out of here and then let's go into our settings here and we'll go back. You'll see this. At the very top, you can see our iCloud. We'll tap on that iCloud. And then what we'll want to do here is we can tap on payment and shipping. Now we want to make sure that the payment and shipping method is added. So if need be, you can hit the add payment method right there and add a card to be able to pay for things. This is if you buy certain subscriptions on your iPhone or something like that. You pay for an app that's a paid for app or a subscription within an app or something like that. So the first thing is to do that and make sure that you have gone through those steps to do that. The second thing that you can do is you can scroll down here and hit the sign out button. And then once you do that, you can enter in your password again and you can sign out of your complete you know, Apple ID on your phone itself. That will kind of refresh you know, everything, and if you're still getting that message that you, know, you have to review everything, the message here, you can just hit review, and potentially they'll just ask you to sign some terms of service. So you can scroll down through those, and you can hit, okay, you know, accept the terms of service, to be able to use your Apple ID on this you know, iPhone if you're first setting it up or something like that. So go through those different steps, make sure that they have all the information they need, that you've accepted all their terms of service, that you have a payment method associated with your account as well, and then try signing out and then signing back in to your Apple ID um, using the exact same email and all that stuff and that should get it fixing and, uh, fixed and working correctly. Hope this helps. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below and make sure to subscribe. Thanks.